Hello. Hello. Hi, my friends. How are you guys all doing? I hope you guys are doing well. My friends, uh, one thing, since Easter is coming up this weekend, we have Easter Sunday on Sunday. I know one thing we love to do, I love to do, is dye Easter eggs. So today I want to dye some eggs with you guys, and hopefully you guys can dye some on your own as well. So what we need for dyeing eggs is we need eggs. We need to boil the eggs, and this is something mommy and daddies have to help you with. You need a coloring kit you can buy anywhere. Uh, you paper towels, a place to put your eggs. And for this particular one, they gave us little color tablets that I dropped in here. And it also said to add some vinegar, a capful. So I put a capful of vinegar in here. And I'm going to take my mixer here and I'm going to, the little tablets down here are dissolving which means they're going away and they're giving all these colors. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix it and now we have all these colors. So let's review the colors. Blue, purple, red. This is supposed to be yellow. I know it looks orange, my dears, but it says it's yellow, green, and orange. Notice the orange one is still fizzing the tablets. Do you guys see that? So they're little tablets that fizz. So what we do is we're going to take our little container and put it here. Get some paper towels ready because sometimes it gets messy. And I'm going to take an egg from here and we're going to drop it into the color. And we're going to sink it very well. And then we're going to take another egg and we're gonna sink that one into the color. Yeah. And then we're gonna take another egg and we're gonna drop it in here. And then we're gonna take another egg. My friends, we're gonna have mommies and daddies help us because you know, see, this one is turning yellow. I know it looks orange, but it's turning yellow. And then we're going to take this egg and drop it in the green. And we got to be very gentle because we don't want it to splash everywhere and get everywhere. That's why I'm wearing gloves to protect my hands from getting colored. And then this one goes here. So what I like to do is I like to put my spoon on my egg and kind of keep my egg sinking so it picks up some color and some of the colors are strong as you see and some of the colors are not that strong and we can use these little guys that they gave for carrying the eggs so look this i like to do it like this and i like to oops i pushed that one too hard friends i miss telling and then this one and then the blue so I like to leave it in for a couple minutes. So my friends, so we have how many eggs? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six eggs. So six different colors, blue, purple, red, yellow, green, and orange. So we're dyeing eggs and some of my lighter colors need a little help. So I'm gonna keep them under but some of my eggs will come out very bright and some won't be bright, but that's okay. The longer you keep it in, the brighter it gets. Now, so what we're gonna do next, my dears, is you're gonna get your area all ready and you can use a platter like this. You can use an Easter basket with Easter grass, whatever your heart desires. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna pull out the blue egg first. So I'm gonna put my little Yes, and look at this, my dears. Look at the blue egg. And then I'm gonna clean it so every time I stick it into a new egg, the color doesn't fade. Now this is my color purple egg. It's being kind of silly. It's not that bright, but it's okay. We can leave it in longer if you want. This is the red. There, 
and then we will get the yellow. Look at the yellow, my friends. Isn't that cool how it turned out yellow since the water is orange? Yeah. And then we have the green. Oh, the green is super bright. Which is okay. Some are bright and some are not. And we're going to put the green here. And then we got a wipe in between. Then we have the orange. Now the orange isn't that bright. All right, my dears. So, some of my eggs came out super bright and some of them didn't, which is okay. What I like to do sometimes is take the egg and just dip half of it in the color, see? And take the other half and dip it in the other half. Do you see that, my friends? And then when it dries, it's like a decorated, decorated egg. So those eggs that are not that bright, you can totally do that. Or one thing else you can do, my friends, that I love to do. You see my yellow egg right now? If I take my yellow egg and I gently dip, dip it in the red, and then I use my gloves and I rub it all over, and it looks like orange, and then I can dump it back in the yellow. Look at that. The yellow becomes stronger like a rainbow, twirling. You just gotta make sure you're wearing gloves. And these are regular water, it's not hot water so it's okay and then we just dry your hands now the last thing you can do is you could leave your eggs like this or it comes with some stickers and decorations you can decorate it or you could wait till your egg is all dry and then you can put stuff on it decorate it with maybe googly eyes or whatever one you want yes so this my friends is a beautiful beautiful way to um, dye your eggs if you want to look at it closely it looks super nice like I said it can get brighter it can get lighter whatever you want if you leave it more in the water the color will get darker if you leave it less it'll be more pastel and you could finish it off any way you want I want to leave mine like that and I'm gonna paint some more eggs for later so I could have a full tray all right, my friends, I hope you guys had fun. I can't wait to see all your Easter eggs. All right, my dears, have a wonderful time. Bye.